Let's begin Cobra Corner. Effective movement. So last week we talked about precise footwork. This week we're going to take that precise footwork and turn it into stylish, efficient movement. Because remember, efficient climbers are better climbers. When making a small step up, the weight shift is the most important aspect. The key phrase here is nose over toes. This puts your weight onto your upper leg, which when you stand up, allows you to drive your weight through your toe, and by extending your leg and arching your back, you push your hips into the wall and create more body tension, and ultimately, more balance. When making a bigger step up, again, nose over toes is the key phrase here. At the same time, compress your lower leg like a spring to initiate the movement. If you don't move fast enough, you'll stall and fall. When done right, it will feel like you're gliding to the next hold. When using tennis balls with your hands, this limits your ability to pull on the climbing holds and it forces the weight onto your legs and it forces you to do really good movement. A similar variation is to not let your hands go above your shoulders. Again, this puts the weight onto your legs and forces you to have good movement. The hardest variation is not using any hands. This forces all the weight through your legs. It makes you really think about where your movement's initiated from because you can't pull in any climbing holds. By traversing across the wall no hands, you have to use that precise footwork that we talked about last week and it focuses all your attention to the lower body and where that movement's coming from. Remember, when learning and practicing these techniques, the key focus is to think about your body's journey through space and time. Make sure you practice them on easy to moderate boulder problems until the movement's bulletproof. Because remember, practice makes permanent.